this is Myra Elaine on the Buying Space channel. Today, I'll continue my reading on the four Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, which cover the life of Jesus. I'm in chapter 12 of Mark, starting in verse 18. Then Jesus was approached by some Sadducees, religious leaders who say there's no resurrection from the dead. They pose this question. Teacher, Moses gave us a law that if a man dies, leaving a wife without children, his brother should marry the widow and have a child who will carry on the brother's name. Well, suppose there were seven brothers. The oldest one married and then died without children. So the second brother married the widow, but he also died without children. Then the third brother married her. This continued with all seven of them, and still there were no children. Last of all, the woman also died. So tell us, whose wife will she be in the resurrection? For all seven were married to her. Jesus replied, Your mistake is that you don't know the scriptures and you don't know the power of God. For when the dead rise, they will neither marry nor be given in marriage. In this respect, they will be like angels in heaven. But now, as to whether the dead will be raised, haven't you ever read about the writings of Moses in the story of the burning bush long after Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob had died? God said to Moses, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. So he is the God of the living, not the dead. You have made a serious error. One of the teachers of religious law was standing there listening to the debate. He realized that Jesus had answered well. So he asked, of all the commandments, which is the most important? Jesus replied, the most important commandment is this. Listen, O Israel. The Lord our God is the one and only Lord, and you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength. The second is equally important. Love your neighbor as yourself. No other commandment is greater than these. The teacher of religious law replied, Well said, teacher, you have spoken the truth by saying that there is only one God and no other. And I know it is important to love him with all my heart and all my understanding and all my strength and to love my neighbor as myself. This is more important than to offer all the burnt offerings and sacrifices required in the law. Realizing how much the man understood, Jesus said unto him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And after that, no one dared to ask him any more questions. Jesus spoke the truth. Jesus was wise in his words. Sometimes when we go through life, we say too much without thinking about what we're saying. Jesus was constantly in a situation where he had to continually think about what he was saying and choose his words wisely because he had enemies following him everywhere. I've had some bad experiences over the last few months where I've had people twist my words. 
It has taught me a lot. And as I read the Gospels and see what Jesus dealt with, with these people following him around, the two religious groups trying to trip him up with every single solitary word. I don't know that we don't live in a world right now that everybody needs to be that careful in what they say. Because there are people out there just waiting to trip you up with the way social media is. Any single solitary sentence or phrase you use could be turned against you on the internet. We are not in a friendly environment for us. Each and every one of us is not. Even the little five-year-old child that's being filmed and does not know the consequences of social media is in danger of being vilified by any group on the planet for any reason. So there might be issues out there we don't even know of. So we have to be like Jesus. We have to choose our words carefully and speak the truth. And sometimes, even in this day and age, speaking the truth will get you in trouble. So, I don't know why we continue, but we will. Have a wonderful and blessed day, everyone.